everyone. Do you face the problem of maintaining the grass in your garden? I know maintaining lawns can be very tricky. Are you thinking of replacing your lawn um, with an artificial turf or an artificial grass? Don't do that because I have a method for you with which you can keep your grass green. In this video, you will learn about five simple DIY steps to maintain your lawn. The first step is water your lawn deeply. The second step is to let the lawn or grass grow up to three and a half inches. The third step is to mow the lawn and also trim the edges. The fourth step is to make a grass tea. Grass tea? Yes, the grass also likes a cup of tea. The final step is to enjoy your lawn. We also recommend watering the lawn deeply and less frequently with the help of water sprinklers like these. We connect them to the pipes early in the morning and late in the evenings because these are the best times. If you're growing grass between the tiles like the one shown in the picture, I recommend watering it more frequently and de-weeding it more frequently as well. We recommend that you mow your lawn when your grass has reached a height of around three and a half inches and you should never be removing more than the top one third of the grass height. For cooler season or in winters, the gr grass height should be two and a half inches. Friends, if your grass is cut too short, it becomes more susceptible to weeds, drought, heat damage and it won't grow. So you will have to work extra hard to fertilize it, sometimes even with synthetic fertilizers. grass clippings after you have mowed your lawn. You have to use those glass grass clippings to make a tea which is a fertilizer for your garden. So let's get going. As usual I have my little gardener with me so he's going to help me make this um, fertilizer. Come on Vihan we have to use these um, clippings. Put these in the bucket, fill half the bucket. These are the clippings that we got after mowing our grass today. Fill half the bucket uh, with these clippings. And then that's it, that's enough, good enough. Thank you. We need to add water to this. Fill half uh, the bucket with water and um, half the bucket with clippings. Okay, so these um, glass clippings, um, they are very rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. And you can use these, uh, you have to uh, first let it rest for three days. And after this, sieve the mixture and use it over your grass. Not just over your grass, but also over, your, or over any other plants that you think need fertilization. You will not require any other kind of fertilizer. The grass too likes its share of drinks apart from the water that we give it. So making this grass tea every now and then keeps the grass happy. By making this grass tea and using it over your grass, you will see that it will stay greener and healthier. We also add uh, grass clippings um, around our trees 
especially when the winter is about to come or when it is going to be peak summer because these clippings they tend to maintain the soil temperatures apart from for, uh, being a fertilizer they supply the nitrogen and phosphorus to the plants they are also helpful in keeping the trees warm in bitter winters do not hesitate to let your child walk or play on the lawn host friends and family for outdoor dinners in your garden because you're most likely to maintain your lawn when you're hosting someone out there the grass quality does not deteriorate when you gently walk or play on it a healthy lawn is able to regenerate itself from any minor damages almost automatically and sometimes it may need some organic help